Hi, everyone. As you can see, I moved. Why? Because my downstairs neighbor was driving me crazy with all that banging. I'm trying to watch my stories. I've got munchies. All this unpacking has made me super hungry. Let's make something to eat. Hmm. I wonder what we can make. Hey there, princess. <laughs> Remember when you bought me? <laughs> no. I thought you showed up after that daylight savings time party I threw a few years back. Negative. You bought me after a night of drinking and watching the movie Fifty First Dates. You wanted to try spam and eggs like in the movie. Guess you forgot. Reese's peanut butter cup and some Gatorade. Yeah, not breakfast. I get you spam and eggs. Nick, I need spam and eggs. Oh yeah, I love that movie. It made me want to have a brain injury too. It made me want to have a brain injury too. It made me want to. Uh. Well, I'm almost expired, so you better use me up. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. I'm going to make a... Uh... Rollo Pretzel Delight. Yeah, that's it. Damn. Are you sure? I'm pretty tasty with Rollos. Ew. Well, I preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Watch these funny sketches. Or you can watch me. I do a pretty hilarious muckery. <laughs> this year, Halloween costumes suck. So I'm gonna give you my top five Halloween costumes. Number one, Beardtimus Prime. He's the Lord of the Beers from Kicketron. I like this costume because I'm paying homage to my two favorite things. Beer and giant robots. Mm. I also like titties. Number two, horny ghost. Or as I like to call it, dead porn star. This one's super easy to do. It's four easy steps. Number one. Get a sheet and cut two holes in it. Number two, pop a Viagra. Number three, get a raging hard boner. Number four, ask a girl, want to see what's underneath my sheet? You're good to go, GTG. Number three, yo Gabba Gabba's Muno. He is a red, bumpy, penis shaped Cyclops with vampire teeth. True story. I'm not making this up. He's great to dress as because he's a real lady killer. People think I'm a family man. But really I'm dressed as a penis with bumps on it. True story. <coughs> Number four. Dick Johnson. His name is amazing. He's my neighbor that lives next door and he works at the liquor store down the street. He hooks me up with free beers all the time. Also People say that his name is Richard. I don't believe him. He's always a dick to me. He's my personal hero. So, I've dressed as him for the past four years. I think I'm gonna dress as him again this year. This one's to you, Dick. I love you, Dick. Number five, Tim Gunn from Project Runway. His last name is Gunn. What the fuck? That should be my last name. Plus, he is one dapper dude. He's like a crossbreed between James Bond and Martha Stewart. I like to go in his closet and try on some clothes. Maybe go shooting guns with him and maybe drink some beers. Who knows? And yes, I will make it work. Happy Halloween. Yeah, it was. Where's the getaway drink?
down up here, man. You're not too much further. Yeah. You trust him? Trust him? You've been doing it for 25 years, man. Yeah, let's go. Two minutes. Two minutes? Are you yeah. shitting me? We're sitting ducks out here. Why couldn't you meet us in front of the bank? Because that's too obvious, man. That's how you get caught. Use your head. Oh, use my head. Use my head. Okay, well, is he going to take us to the safe house? Not exactly. It's, uh, it's out of his district. His union. Okay. All right. Are we taking the bus? Yes and no, but... Mainly, yes. Oh, you got it. You're fucking shitting me. Are you flip serious? Out. You're, a you you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Give me the money. I'll take the money. You're not you taking the money. money, all right? Who fucking organized this? Who the fuck takes the bus? Do you know so when the M60 is coming? Uh, I think about one minute, actually. Yeah, he's probably right. Because he's a fucking pro. Been doing it for 20 years. 25 years. Fuck you. Oh. Does it stop at Vernon Avenue? You know, I want to say... What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you uh, doing? Oh, it feels great. I want to say that face. it does. Show her your face. But I'm not sure because it might be... Why don't you give her your name, Mr. Blue? Mr. Blue? Yeah. Brendan, Reservoir... My name, Brendan, my name is Mike. You Fuck. know that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Reservoir Dogs. Code names. 20th anniversary this year. He's in it. God damn it. No idea Fuck what you're talking about. I'm a Tarantino man. Fuck the Tarantino. Oh. This is great. This is fucking great. Take the bus. Take the bus. Take... All right, Grandma, you want to do this? You want to throw down? Get on your dancing shoes! Bring it on! The bus is always express on Thursday. <laughs> for my family and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun because you know I'm kind of a goofball I'm the goofball of the pepper mill clan uh, I like to turn on Alvin and chipmunks and do some fun impressions like Alvin and this year uh, it's going to be a milestone for our family because it's our first Thanksgiving since my divorce from my husband, Tad. Oh, I was supposed to thaw this yesterday. Poop! Okay. Honey, can you put some more uh, Smirnoff ice in Mommy's wine glass? Thank you. So I have some pictures here of past Thanksgivings. Uh, this one is Thanksgiving 1998. And this was the year that Todd was at the bar watching the parade with his uh, friends. And he came home and he had us all stand in a line. And just like the Dick Tracy movie, he slapped us all in the face, just right in a row. Slap, 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 uh, right down to the youngest. And um, it was really so funny. It was so funny. I laughed until I cried for three days. Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you, Billy. Oh, you honey. Go check on the turkey. This one was when the kids were real young. This was 1991. And Todd thought it would be a great idea to get all liquored up on a bottle of Jack and go out like a macho man and hunt for a Thanksgiving turkey himself. So in this picture, this is us eating the neighbor's dog, Truffles. He shot the dog, and I cooked it. 
Billy got worms that year. the divorce he hasn't been hard at all it's my dream to work two jobs to support three kids two of whom are old enough to support themselves and live down the street from my ex-husband Todd and his new girlfriend who also happens to be my college roommate Veronica no, I'm being very sarcastic right now. Happy Holidays. Let's get started. Sounds like you're hungry. Hungry for this. Huh? How'd you get out of the cabinet? I've been living in cabinets since 2004. So let's say I know my way around one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. As you wish, Princess Stoner. The ingredients for Rollo Pretzel Delights are pretzels, Rollos, and nuts. Nuts? I've got nuts. And meat for you! Oh! Gross. You can use pecan halves or walnuts. Both are pretty tasty. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then line a cookie sheet with foil or parchment paper. Sounds pretty kinky to me. Then place a pretzel for each delight desired on a cookie sheet. Top with Rollo candy and place in the oven for three to five minutes, or until caramel softens, but not melts. Whoa, whoa. Who said anything about being soft? I'm definitely not soft. Maybe you should eat me instead. <sighs> Remove the cookie sheet from the oven and top with a nut for each piece. Next, add a slice of me on top and you're done. Bon appetit! No! Don't add spam! but you should make sure they cool down completely before eating. While these cool down, watch another bunch of hilarious sketches. The Ministry of Language presents Speak Now, you feel learn English with your hosts, Mila and Maria. Hello, I am Mila. Today I am meeting my good friend, Maria. She returned yesterday from vacation in America. She will show me her photos. Oh, look, there she is. Hello, Maria. Hello, Mila. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Please, tell me about your vacation. I want to know more about the famous American bitches. It is true. Everybody want to know more about the bitches in America. American bitches are fantasy for many peoples. When you go to America, you will see beaches like this. You can have very, very, very good time if you are an American bitch, but you must know where to find them. Beaches are all over America. This is a dirty beach in New Jersey. This is a dangerous beach. Watch out. What about entertainment with beach? American beaches are good for playing games. Anything with balls is perfect. Also, sometimes you can ride horse right on sand. You pay by the hour. What about how do you say when you use mouth to make something big? Ah, uh, yes, yes, blow. Many people like to have blow things when they're on beach. What about animals? Thank you. I almost forget. Some beaches have crabs. So teeny tiny, you cannot see them. You can ask if the beach has crabs. But I prefer to use beach in the daytime with the sun. Yes, but remember that sun of the beach is so strong. So be sure to use protection. Maria, why does everybody love American beaches? They are fun. Everybody can have good time with American beach. Not like here, where we have only one local beach that everybody uses. What if beach is busy, like here in Piskiaf? Ah, yes. Very important. You must take shit on beach so everybody knows you came and you have place. Is it true that in America you eat on your shit when it is on the beach? Yes. Everybody, when on the beach, you eat. It is, how do you say, relaxing. Well, it is true. American bitches are so beautiful. Spasiba. Thank you, Maria. I dream of day when I can take my shit on American beach too.
vests, vest, 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 vest. We got thousands of vests. Hi, I'm Marty Berkowitz, and this is my adopted brother, Terry Berkowitz. Come on, Come on down, down to the, the Berkowitz, Berkowitz Vest, vest Emporium. Emporium. We got thousands of selections from every color and style. Blues, key lime, salmon, Easter, teal, winter, petite, cream cheese. Our family's been in the vesting business for generations. Our grandfather started this business with three simple rules. One, all vests must go. Two, do not try on any vests in the store. We will try them on for you. And three, absolutely no Mexicans. We cover all occasions. Proms. Quinceaneras. Birthdays. Bar mitzvahs. Wedding. Cancer outpatient treatments. Risks. Abortions. Second risks. Brunch. The Joker. 90s magician. Parisian knights. Lesbian. Canary. And featuring the new Steve Harvey line. Our cousin Gary when he turned into a woman. Graduating T-ball. Olympic trials. Having sex with your adopted brother. And we're serious about the vests. Do not try them on. If you got a chest, then you need a vest. Come visit us at the Berkowitz Vest Emporium of, of the, the 495. Oh, hello there, young artiste. Welcome to the Toy of Painting. I'm Bob Ross's daughter, Diana Ross. Oh, no, I know what you're thinking. Not that Diana. I'm no Diana DeGarmo from season three American Idol, but rather a uh, natural female. Yeah, yeah, this is 100% chemical free, you future lovers out there. And I've decided to take over the family business of teaching you to paint. As of late, my creativity wells inside my brain have dried up. So I've been living in this desert of dull, benign thoughts. Which really means that I have painter's block. Or as I like to call it, the end of my career. So, does any cameraman have any ideas on what to paint? No? No? Nothing? No? Oh. Oh. Looks like you have a little bit of nature's inspiration. Excuse me. Uno momento. <gasps> Yes. I can feel my brain being fertilized with sublime notions on what to put on this wonderful canvas. First, I'm gonna need some oral stimulation. Does anybody have any gummy bears? Anybody? You? I know you do. Give me your gummy bears. I oh, love gummy bears. I really do. As a child, I used to stick them up my nose. And make my father Bob, you know. Get them out with pliers. True story. You know it goes well with gummy bears. No. Yeah, you guessed it. Cheesy poofs. Got any of those one around? You do? Give me a I love Gigi Poops. I really do. As a child, I used to stick these up my nose and make my father Bob, you know Bob, get them out with pliers. Mm. Come to think of it, I used to stick anything up my nose. This one's for you, Dad. This one's for you. Cheeto down. Oh. Look what we have here. We've got the beginnings of what it smells like. We have avant-garde culinary art creation on our hands. Literally. I'm Bob Ross's daughter, Diana. And this is the joy of painting. 
We'll be back after this commercial break, but remember, to stimulate your palate, you must stimulate your palate. <laughs> Mmm, good. Those were delicious. You know what else is delicious in your mouth? Me! Mmm. Come on, Mary Jane. I want to be inside you. Let me make food love in your mouth. Stop it! You're gonna make me vomit up all those delicious Rolo Delights. What? Leave. I'm never going to eat you. Fine. I'm gonna find me someone who wants me inside them. Some Gatorade. Yeah, not breakfast. I get you Spam and eggs. Nick, I need Spam and eggs. Spam. Oh, spammy.